everybody, Isekai Sensei Sama here, Brad with uh, Bento Baggins, Ben, hey. and uh, Kermit D. Grog, Hello. Andrew. Uh, we just finished watching the first episode of Spy Family, and we want to just give a quick uh, hot take. We're very excited about it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, I thought it was really, really good. I thought it did a really good job of capturing the essence of the manga and also putting a really good new spin on it. And uh, I think there was a lot in there that uh, was not captured by the manga in quite the same way. And I think that the, uh, the anime really brought out a lot of the, the good qualities there, so. Yeah, it's definitely a little more serious than the manga, or at least it feels that way because Anya feels more like a kid. I think that's the biggest, one of the biggest changes is that yeah. Anya's voice actor really went for like very, very young. Which she kind of is, but it's like you don't think about that when yeah. you're reading her well, internal yeah. dialogue. In the, and... in the comic, he's like, she looks like she's four. And it's like, well, every chibi character looks like Yeah, like true. Yeah. Four, so yeah. I, I would also agree. That's the big thing that, that really came across that in, in the manga, it's sort of, I mean, you know that she's a child, but you don't really feel it. And the way that the voice actor uh, captured her personality, you really get a feeling that she is a small child and it and it makes sense because she's always like messing up comically messing up words but when you're reading you just take that as like oh it's a gag whatever and not like genuinely she doesn't know what to say so hearing it even in japanese out loud and reading it like it kind of hits you a little bit more yeah i mean so far all the like all the voices were good um the guy who plays lloyd is good you were mentioning like he hits all the foreign words pretty well so it doesn't as a spy would should be like multilingual and just blend in. I thought that was nice. Um, I really liked the music. Yeah, so much. If you listen to that, it reminded me of Lupin. It's very funky and jazzy. I heard some, yeah. I heard some jazz vibraphone at one point and got real hype about that. They really captured that uh, 50s, 60s spy thriller feeling with the with the music. Yeah, a lot of and all, like a lot of warm tones and colors made it. It's very. It's it's the storybook of the, like it's yeah. cool to see this in color because the the manga is a really beautifully put together thing and seeing it both in color and in motion and it captures. I mean, we haven't met the full family yet, but it captures the the designs really well. Yeah, and speaking of motion, uh, the action sequences mm. were excellently done. The very fluid. You really got a sense that uh, Twilight Lloyd, you know, knew how to handle himself, and uh, it makes me really look forward to seeing how they portray your oh your i'm so excited about it. So, i uh, i got really excited because at one point one of them fires a silence gun and it just sounds like filing the silence <laughs> pistol in golden eye and i was like awesome this is the best because it just takes a little noise yeah yeah no really solid adaptation excited for next week yeah. go check it out if you haven't go read it go watch it now you can watch it it's worth 100 so, percent worth your time recommendation from us uh don't forget to like comment subscribe and uh, maybe we'll do some more of these in the future with, uh, yeah. with other anime that we're excited to watch. So I think it'd be fun. See ya. See ya.